Owl statue time. Here, 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 and here. There we go. Final letter. Do 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 do. Da -da -da -da. Okay. That's all there is to it. Go to those places that you could clearly tell exactly where they were. Move the statues, get the letters, and you're done. All of them are marked on your map. There's only about six, I think. Um, honestly, it's really easy to get unless you want to go out of your way and get the, um, you know, the optional, optional things. Because um, near all those statues are little places where you can use them for platforming segments. Because you can jump on top of the statues themselves and you can use them as platforms. So you can move the statues around and, you know, put a platform wherever you want to. And if you have that platform in the right position, you can usually make it to, like, a piece of heart or an orange rupee, stuff like that. But I've already got full rupees, so I don't even need... I just don't need it. So now we got to use the filled skybook on the nerd here. All right, yeah, yeah, more letters. And let's do it. Thank you. I can skip it. I didn't know I could skip it. Basically, all that happens is the little thing that was covering it moves, and <laughs> I can um, I can move the statue. And I, I was just laughing right there because the Link was turned around in the cutscene. I've never been able to do that before. Skipping it. Sky cannon. That's all there is to it. Big cannon that'll shoot us to the sky. Okay, we'll warp it. And the guy's here. Get the hell out of here. You're a loser. Only cool people can look at the cannon. Get out of here. Get out. All right. <laughs> I wonder if I put him off. Ha, 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 ha. All right. Let's do this. Warp it to Lake Hylia. Because there's a cannon repair dude that must repair our cannon. Can I skip this? Yes, I can. Good. <laughs> it's like, oh, can I skip this too? I'm just skipping everything. I'm so beyond caring at this. Oh, oh, I can't skip this? What's up with that, man? All right, fine. Do, 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 do. All right. So, now we have the cannon here in Lake Hylia. What you want to do is... <sighs> that joke is so old. Um... It's not even a joke anymore at this point. It's just so... I don't know. I never really even thought it was all that funny to begin with. But anyway, go and talk to this guy, and you can have him repair your cannon for you. He's going to cost a lot of money, but you can't get to the city in the sky and beat the game without doing this. Or this. All right. I think it's 298. Uh, no, 300 rupees. Basically, they force you to pay all your money. Like, if you only have the beginner's wallet. I don't know how someone could go through the whole game without picking up a gold bug by this point, though. Like, at, at some point. I mean, there, someone must have seen it, you know? But, oh well. Regardless, even if you don't pick one up, you're okay. So he fixes it all up. I don't know why they put feet on it, because it doesn't move, but whatever. Ugh, my voice always just dies whenever I say whatever, but okay. Now, before I go up in the cannon, there's something I want to try out, because I actually heard this on Game Grumps, and... God, I'm referencing them a lot. Hey, wait, is that fish over there? Oh, you can fish off this thing. I didn't know that. Um, there's something I want to try out. I did not know that you could... Well, you'll see. Or will see. Because apparently... If you hit the chickens here with your sword a lot of times, you, like, get in control of the chicken and you actually become one. So here, let's see. Gotta hit it a whole bunch. Let's see. Uh, so is this really gonna... Yeah! What the... Um... Get out of the way. Oh. So now what? Oh, okay, now I just swing the Wii Remote and I'm not the chicken anymore. All right, so here, I need to, I'm gonna be jumping down there again anyway, so here, I'm gonna get him out of the way. So now, let's try that again. 
I think, actually, if you say something to him after you knock all the chickens, after you knock all the chickens, after you, you know, yeah, well, we'll see. Let's see. So, jump. Woo! Can I get that rupee? Oh, no, fine. Um, this way. Oh, that was weird. All right, so I'm going to be right back. I'm going to go and get all these chickens out of here, so hang on. Because I didn't know you could do this. I want to see what happens when you talk to him. Okay, so all the chickens are gone now, so let's see. What does he say? Huh? Where'd all my cuckoos go? Well, I guess you'll have to learn how to find your own partner. Oh, whatever. All right. I just wanted to see what happens when that when you do that, but apparently it's not much. Man, come on. Your head would be totally smashed. You would not even have a skull. You'd just be a... You would be a puddle by then. <laughs> but okay. Anyway... You know, that's one thing that I don't think games have... I don't think I've ever seen a game do that. It's either... Like, I'm thinking about falling damage. Like, if you jumped in water from that high, you would die. You know how, like, let's say uh, Super Mario Sunshine, just as an example. You remember in Noki Bay how high you can get up on the cliffs and stuff? But if you jump down into the water, then you don't take any damage. From that height, you would die. Most definitely. You would definitely die. So, I wonder why games never have falling damage when you jump into water. I've never seen a game do that. And the only thing you could really rate as falling damage is, you know, a game where you jump off into, like, let's say you jump off a cliff, but you can see that there's water down there. And then, you know, it just does the you die before you hit the the ground thing. Kind of like how you fall into bottomless pits here in Zelda. Like, if I were to jump off, you know, it'd, like, go black and I'd respawn somewhere else. But even if there's water down there, that's... I mean, like, if there's water, that's the only time I've ever seen falling damage. Even though it's not really falling damage. But, okay. The freak shows are here with us. Whoopee. And there's the dragon. Yep, just a random dragon. Too bad they can't be down on the ground, otherwise this game might be Skyrim-esque, but nope. We don't want this game to be good now, do we? Huh. I really hate these things. Ugh! Nintendo, why do you do this? I really hate these things. I could not pot. I uh, I can't stress how much I hate these things. I could never say it enough. <sighs> okay, so City in the Sky. It's pretty much the last major dungeon of the game. There's one more after this, but it's not as big. And it's basically like there's no puzzle work. It's not you don't have to do much backtracking. So I don't really qualify the dungeon after this as like an actual dungeon. So, yeah. Um, from here on, well, I mean, actually, in this store here, like, there's a store in the freaking dungeon, so if you run out of items, you can just use that. Oh! Pfft. I didn't mean to do that. I tried to roll when I ran into the corner. <laughs> I've never actually fallen off that way. That was kind of funny. But that's one of the items you're going to need here. You're going to need the iron boots, because this place is very windy. And if you have your iron boots, you don't need to worry about it. So, that's useful. Alright. Ah! Get out of here. I thought you weren't nearly that close. But, alright. Now, go ahead and take an arrow. Shoot that. And this is a very boring, tedious dungeon. Just so you know. I really hate this place. Ooh! You got owned. I missed my great spin, though. I want it back. I need to get it full health. So, yeah. Um, I don't know why they give you the view of the city now, but they do. This is when they actually show you what the city looks like. And it's... <laughs> it's just a dungeon. There's nothing special about this place, aside from the fact that it's just set in the sky. So... <laughs> It's really just kind of bland to me. It doesn't really... There's nothing special about it to me. Aside from the fact that these freak shows are here. Ugh. Alright. 
And the fact that you actually have to use them. That is the worst. No, no get out of here. I don't want you. All right. So what you got to do here is get your claw. Ugh. Use your claw shot and grab the freaks. You got to use them like cuckoos. You got to fly around and stuff like that. Come on. Bring it. Ooh! I didn't even mean to do that, and I did it. That was great. Ah, oh, get out of here. Die. <laughs> oh, how I wish they couldn't fly. Come on, man. I mean, these things are going to be extinct anyway. Why don't I, why don't I just help them along, you know? <laughs> I really wish I could kill them, but you can't. They're invincible. They can't be stopped. <sighs> All right. So, another version of the... Whoa, jeez. Didn't run at me that fast. All right, so... These guys, just big versions of the little Helmosaurs. You can't pull their helmets off, though, which is kind of annoying, but oh well. Now, I believe we need to go this way, so let's do it. Uh, run across those blue blocks. They're going to fall when you touch them, so be careful about that. Oh, 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 wait a minute. I did the wrong thing there. Crap. I did the wrong thing. All right. Let's see. Where am I? Okay, maybe I didn't. Because, as you can see, you see up there, there's a little grating there. Uh, there's another area where you're going to have to use that. you got to get outside and uh, use your spinner. But again, people are like, oh, you use the spinner here in the city in the sky, too. And I'm going to do the same thing I always do when I talk about idiots talking about how you can use the spinner in other dungeons. So, yeah. Just go ahead and keep spinning and spinning and spinning. And you will extend that bridge. All right. Do 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 do. So I believe that's not what I wanted to do. There's another place I need to go and extend another bridge, and that's where we're gonna need to go. Um, let's see. I think, I think actually I'm gonna go ahead and end it off here because I don't want to get too deep into this, and I don't know where I'm at in the video because you know all the stupid bird statue hunting. So yeah. Hello. Thank you. All right. So, next time on Twilight Princess, we're going to come out here and we're going to break or we're going to extend a bridge. So, I'll see you guys then.